Hello, my friends. I want to show you beautiful threads filati. These all colors are just awesome. We have gold, different shades of purple, white, silver, also turquoise, and this one, one is deep green blue thread, uh, two blue colors, uh, gold, yellow in two shades. Uh, so really special threads. Also, this pink one is very nice. And uh, one bobbin has 1000 grams. And also I want to tell you about the thickness of this thread. 100 grams of this thread has 1000 meters. For this thread we can use crochet hook in size 1.75 millimeters, can be 2 millimeters. And uh, we can work only with one thread. We don't need to join few threads like I did before with my Italian viscose. Uh, and this thread is not so thin. So it's really great. We can take only one thread and work with it. But right now I want to make small uh, experiment and just want to join uh, my thread Subfir Lux. It's Italian viscose. Uh, I have few colors. And I will take this purple colors and I will create element, my outer motif flower with wings. And I want to see uh, what, re what result I will get uh, when I join two types, two firms uh, in one motif. Uh, I will start from this light color, I will, I will make first part of motif, after I will use uh, this color to make next part, and I will combine these two, uh, two different uh, films, of, they are making viscose, but yes, we have uh, filati and sapphire looks, and next I will show you what result I will get, so let's start. Uh, so I made first part of the element, the middle part I made from filati, this light purple, and next I made uh, this uh, first petal, just first part of petal, by using Sapphire Lux. Now I can take a next color. Let's see what we can take. Maybe this intensive. Yes, I like it. So we can take next this one color. I will continue to make uh, this element, next petals. And after, again, I will use uh, thread Sapphire Lux. Maybe I will take another color and I will mix them. And I am using my a favorite crochet hook, small steel hook in size 1.75 millimeters. And uh, right now I made these beautiful petals uh, from uh, filati thread. Uh, we have very beautiful result. This thread is very light and I made these two petals and also second row of this petal by using uh, filati. After I made this big wing by using Sapphir Lux, this amazing color, and we have ready this wing. Is this thread Sapphir Lux? It's more heavy, so we have combination of two uh, types of threads, and the result is really great because each time I am using only one thread, one thread of uh, filati, one thread Sapphir Lux, and I use the same crochet hook in the same size, and uh, we get a really beautiful result. Right now I need to make two small wings and I will finish to make this beautiful element. So I want to make here one light wing from this thread that I have in the middle and this the last small wing I will make by using this Sapphire Lux that I used for this petal. And I, when I will finish these two wings I will show you the ready flower with wings. Right now I already Love it and I really enjoy to work with these two threads. So let's finish the motif and see the result. And I finished it to make this beautiful element, a flower with wings. We have here uh, two threads, like you know, Sapphire Lux and also this thread Filati. And in total I used two colors of Filati and uh, let's see, we have here Sapphire Lux, uh, two colors, this one the same and this. So in total four different different colors and the result is really perfect for me it's shiny silky uh, we have uh, this thread it's more heavy sapphire looks uh, filati thread is very very light but when you join everything together you get a really awesome result and i work it only with one crochet hook Fantastic colors, I think. I really love to use purple. Uh, so it's a really nice idea to use two different uh, threads. 
we can combine them we can join them and we can create beautiful projects by using uh, all these colors uh, if you want to use these two uh, threads you will have more colors for your uh, beautiful design and it's really interesting so right now i also want to try really want to try new colors uh, we have silver it's really perfect uh, to try looks really special and also i want to try white thread uh, these two colors i will take let's place our element here so i want to try silver and white and i have here a beautiful sapphire looks in light blue color it's number 303 uh, this thread i will use and also i want to try the jeans color uh, it's also very interesting so these four colors i will use for flower talisman six petals it's also my outer motive and i will again use this uh, threads different threads one crochet hook and let's start to make it i want to try to make this element from very light uh, after i will use a little bit of sapphire looks next i will use this silver thread and i will finish motif by using this uh, thread jeans color let's start uh, so i made beginning of flower uh, this is middle part and also i prepared bases for six petals and uh, like you see i used white color for middle part uh, filati it was white filati and and now uh, i want to show you this it was next part made from uh, sapphire looks after i want to work with silver spread this will be first row of petals and after i will make one small row again by using uh, this thread so let's work. I will take this beautiful thread, the new, new new color, and try to work with it right now to make these beautiful petals. And uh, right now I finish it to make uh, yes two rows of petals. Big one I made from silver thread filati, and this very small row around. Again I use this uh, beautiful blue color of sapphire looks. Next uh, I need to make two more rows to finish this element. I want to use this jeans color. This will be new row here, and edging will be very thin row. I will make uh, by using I think. It can be white thread, this one, uh, and I will make edging by using white thread filati. And uh, in total for this element, uh, we will use four colors, two colors filati and two different colors of sapphire looks. Uh, right now I will make two last rows. Uh, I will hide tails and iron and stray this motif again and show you uh, the result. But uh, right now I can say it's really uh, fantastic. Just uh, everything looks very uh, soft shiny and uh, really beautiful colors we have here i enjoy to work with them really nice okay let's continue to work and here is a ready motif flower talisman six petals a really gorgeous result let's look closer i made the last two rows uh, this one, the dark one from Sapphire Lux jeans color, and the last was white uh, spread, uh, yes, filati. So we get this amazing result, really perfect flower, very tender and beautiful. So uh, my experiment was really interesting for me to try how everything works. I really like the result. Once again, let's look closer. We have this element by using these threads. And also, uh, first element was flower with wings. Awesome element, also fantastic colors. Just to look to this amazing combination of colors, I really enjoy. Uh, to to make it so we have two motive two two threads filati and two sapphire looks uh, this was yes such a video presentation uh, how we can join uh, two different 
just films it's viscous but different films and what result we can get and just i used one steel hook in the same size for these two threads everything is very simple and the result is really gorgeous also i want to show you where you can find scheme for this element a scheme for this flower six petals, flower talisman six petals, uh, we have in our first crochet magazine, JT House issue one. Inside uh, this magazine, you will find six outer motifs. Uh, they are very interesting, beautiful. You will get colored schemes step by step and instructions in English. Uh, it's uh, our first magazine. Very soon we will have second magazine. So if you want to get this hard copy, you can visit our website jthouse.net or you can send me a message. Also, you can get a digital uh, version of this magazine uh, for a smaller price. It's thirteen dollars, and you will get all um, yes, uh, you will get PDF file and a password to your email after payment. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was interesting for you. See you soon at the new videos. Bye bye for now.